watch this video and you can find out how to solve a Masu puzzle. These are Masu puzzles. I wanted to show you what a completed one looks like so you'd have an idea before we head into it. You have to have it completed by drawing one continuous line that connects dots and goes through a series of white pearls and black pearls. You can't have anything sticking out like that or sticking into the puzzle, no doohickeys as it were. So one continuous solid line. There are different rules about what needs to happen with the pearls and I'm gonna show you those on a blank board. So if you have something like this, if you have a white pearl, you have to go directly through the white pearl. So the line has to go right through the pearl and you have to either turn one dot before you go through it or one dot after. So I've gone through, I've hit a dot, I either have to turn here or I have to turn down here or I could have turned this way. I have all kinds of ways I could have done it, but you have to turn before or after or both. For a black pearl, you have to turn inside the black pearl. So the turn actually takes place in the black pearl. And the line has to continue for two dots before it turns. So there's one dot, two dots, then you're allowed to turn if that's what you need to do. Here's one dot, two dots, then you're allowed to turn if that's what you need to do to solve the puzzle. So there are a few little tricks that help you get started. I'm gonna move this one up so you can see it. If you have a white pearl that's on the edge of the puzzle, you need to just go straight through the white like that. Here's another white pearl on the edge, just go right through. Because you can't go the other direction. I couldn't go through the pearl that way because it would go off of the board. I couldn't go through this white pearl this way because it would go off of the board. All right, another little trick is to look at the black ones that are close to a corner. You have to turn in the black one, but you should know you can't turn there because you'd have to go to a second dot, which you can't do. So that should tell you that the turn goes like this, and then it has to go for a second dot before you can turn. Another little move that's somewhat helpful is if you have something like this up here. If you find yourself with two or three dots in a row that are white, all you need to do is go boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's an automatic given because you wouldn't be able to, if you had gone all the way through like that, this one wouldn't be able to have a turn before or after. Okay, so we're gonna try and solve one. Let me get a fresh new one over here. So we're gonna try and solve puzzle number one together. So let's think of the things I wanna do. White pearls that are on the edge, I'm gonna go ahead and go right through. Here's a white pearl on the edge, I'm gonna go right through. Oops. White pearls on the edge, I'm going right through both of them. Here's a white pearl on the edge, and I'm going through that. Now I wanna think of black ones that are near a corner if I can. So. There's only one way for a turn to happen in that black one. So I place that and I can't turn yet. I have to go to a second dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my way to the second dot. If I look at this black pearl, there's only one way for me to turn. So I'm gonna do that. I also have two white ones in a row. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as if I had seen them at first and I went boom, boom. Now I wanna start thinking about how I'm going to connect them up and what I'm gonna do. Because I still have this pearl to deal with and I have to get everything connected into one continuous loop. So remember, after I go through a white pearl, I have to turn before or after. So because in this case, I couldn't turn here, I have to turn here. And in this case, I couldn't turn right before it, so I'm gonna turn after. So I know that definitely happens. Now in this case, or I'm gonna go down here in the corner because corners are helpful. Here, I only have one thing I can do 
to turn, I've got to connect this up. So I'm going to draw that right there. And now I have to decide, do I want to turn here or do I want to go straight? Well, if I go straight, then this white pearl isn't going to have the turn it needs. So I'm going to turn right there. All right which tells me I've got an end here, right? I can't bring this down, so I know this one's gonna have to go over like that somehow, and it can't come back down, so it has to go over at least one more space. And I can't close this off, or I'd have its own unique shape up here, so I know I'm gonna turn down. Okay, so I've got that far. Now, this white one, it's come up here, I can't go off the board. I can't go that way. It's got to come back toward where the loop is being made. So I'm going to turn it like that. And then I want to hook up these bits right there. Okay. And now I have to decide what I'm doing with all this stuff in the middle. How will it best work? Well, if I get here, I can't go down because that would run right into that white pearl. So I'm going to turn it right there. I can't close that off. If I do, I could potentially do that, or I could potentially do that. I have two moves there. I have to decide which one I wanna make. Since I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna look at other possibilities. Let's see, this can't go up. It's gonna to have to turn, so I'm gonna turn it. And then let's see, where could I go? If I go through this white dot, I then am gonna either, I'm gonna slice this continuous thing in half. So I'm not sure I wanna go through the white dot there. I think I wanna go maybe through the white dot that way. And then I can turn like that and connect up. And then it's pretty easy to see where my final connections are. This is gonna to have to go there and that's gonna to have to go there. And just to make sure, I definitely have one continuous loop. That black pearl has a turn and it extends for two dots. It extends for two dots. This black pearl has a turn in it and it goes for two dots before it turns, two dots before it turns. And if I check all the white ones, they all have a line going right through them. And do they have a turn right before or after? This one does. This has a turn right before, that has a turn right after. There's a turn, there's a turn, there's a turn, there's a turn. So that is a successful Masu solution.